Okay, so I believe we're all done here, and we can just make our way down South Crescent Shall Highway right. and just get a uh, just get going. Yep, and just make our way down to the ground. Oh shit! Watch out, guys! You know, I wish we could just instantly kill these things. Use this! What? Here I go! <laughs> God damn it! God damn it, man! Burn to ash! Fall! That's that. Let's keep moving. Oh yeah, I need to go back to uh, to Monk because I believe that should have been like one of the five battles already. Oh. Hey, uh, no active voice wall. Wait, was that shark new? No, no, no. Crocodile is still uh, the same thing. Okay. Story event. Oh, yeah, Aqua Shrine. No, we're not going there just yet. Shall we? Actually, right. we should be able to get active voices regardless of what they're in. Uh, Let's not overestimate ourselves. Stay focused. God, it's so foggy. Whoop. Let's not overestimate ourselves. Stay focused. Yeah, huh. Actually, maybe if you get closer to the ground. Or maybe it'd only be if you get uh, within town. I don't think there'd be anything here. Also, yeah, I don't see any new enemies around here. Oh shit! Oh man, the fog. I I, I can't see crap with the fog, huh? I think if we were strong enough, we'd be able to insta kill things and just run them over. Although I don't think the uh, overbike would appreciate. Uh, being handled roughly like that, running over monsters. Almost collided with a palm. <laughs> yeah. But not not even the palms, uh, they like... They might be little dicks about stealing, like, your CP and everything. But they don't deserve to be run over like that in a brutal way. Oh god. Alright then. We got a lot of dialogue to run through here. We're out on the highway when the fog suddenly thickened and we're surrounded by monsters. What if we barely managed to escape with our lives? Had it not been for the children's timely appearance, I doubt we would have been so lucky. Huh. Actually, hold on. Let me alt tab real quick. I just noticed a little thing here. One second. Just saw something on my monitor for a moment. <laughs> Don't mind me. Sorry if you hear any creaking sound. Okay. Ugh, while on, while on one hand I'm glad to be alive, it's an ego shattering reminder of my inexperience. I cannot I cannot have seen this coming, but that is no excuse. My inexperience and overconfidence uh, could have cost us both our lives. I'm completely ashamed of myself. I thought we were done for, but then Julian Carno showed up with Pero out of nowhere and saved us. Thanks to them, we managed to get out there with our lives and uh, make our way back to town. I felt like I had to scold them for being so reckless, but how can it be so how can it be harsh to someone? Er, blah, 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 blah. How can it be harsh to someone who saved your life? I'm so grateful to the both of them. Fritz and Sven got attacked by monsters out on the highway. They managed to slip away in the end, but it's crazy to think they could even end up in that situation at all. I knew I should have gone with them. I planned on going with them, but I ended up taking care of busy work here instead. Really called that one wrong. Uh, do you have any idea how worried I was about you, Dad? If you had to come home, I... I... Oh, I'm sorry, Cindy. I didn't mean to frighten you like that. Thank you so much for saving him, Fritz. Save your thanks for those who deserve it. My lack of skill placed your father in unnecessary danger. That's not true at all. If you hadn't been there, I... I don't even want to think about what would have what happened. 
Uh, I'm glad Dad's okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't even I can't even begin to properly thank Fritz for saving his life. Oh, that was too close. We heard Dad cry out, so uh, we ran we ran to save him. It's a good thing we did too. If we weren't just in a nick of time, one of those monsters would have had him for lunch. This is all that fog's fault. Where did where did it even come from all of a sudden? Uh, I thought we were done for. That's the scariest thing that Junior Eisenrider has ever faced, bar none. We would have been in real trouble if it weren't for Fritz, too. He stayed and attracted the monster's attention so we could all run. He was so cool. We got in, we got in trouble for going out, uh, out onto the highways without permission, but I'm still glad we did it. Not that I ever want to do it again. Uh, my legs are killing me out there all that running. That's probably gonna really, or probably really gonna kill me for uh, going out onto the highway to save him. <laughs> but I can die with no regrets knowing that everyone's okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. I need a water break. I'm trying to go as like fast as I can with all my reading for the past like four and a half hours. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Water break. This is gonna go on a little bit longer so we can finish up like the side quests and all that stuff here, so... I'm gonna need to refill my cup. Cause my my vocal cords will thank me for this. So one moment wouldn't be too long to get a cup of water.
All right, all right, the streamer is back. Sorry about that. I decided to also get a little, uh, warm up a little cup of uh, soy milk as well. <sighs> really, really craving for a little bit. <sighs> all right. Oh wait, where? Wait, what did I just click? Oh shit! Uh, did I click something with OBS? Okay, no, 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 we're good, we're good. Okay. Ah. Uh. Uh. Let's see. Uh, you know, we'll talk to we'll talk to Miles last. <clears throat> I want everyone in town to stay away from the highway at all costs. But we still have to figure out what to do about this fog. But what we've seen. It's especially thick around Lohengrin Castle. Just, uh, just be sure uh, you step with caution. Oh yeah, hold on. Might as well have Emma here if we're doing this. Oh yeah, uh, I need to bring in Gaia so he actually gets more levels. Okay, now we'll get Mikolith here for real. What's this fog even doing back here? I thought we got rid of it. I heard the ringing of a bell coming from the castle. <gasps> More barriers? Now what do you suppose that was all about? Something was out of the ordinary, I'll tell you that much. But I don't see a barrier there. Uh, there's no new... Oh, I could probably fish, fish here, right? Yeah. Alright, so wait, how much fish do I have remaining to catch? Six more. Uh, am I supposed to be at 18 out of 8, or 18 out of 24 at this point? Hopefully I'm not missing any. I mean, I've fished out every spot, like, every spot. And it seems like I've exhausted a good amount of the fish out, uh, out of each, uh, fishing spot as well. Thank you so much for bringing Sven back to us spirits. But please, be calm. We're, we are always with you and have no intention of inspiring your wrath. Oh yeah, I didn't go back into the house. Uh, although I'm guessing everyone's outside, right? Yeah, 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 everyone's outside. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Alrighty, alrighty. And go in here. Oh wait, no, I didn't talk with the, uh, uh, the girls here. We got a young girl staying right here, or uh, staying here right now, but she seems to have disappeared. I haven't seen her, at least. Have you, or have you, Chloe? I'm kind of worried about her. Uh, with the way the fog, or with the fog the way it is, the young girl. Oh, you mean the one from the city? Or, <clears throat> uh, the one from the city. I have it, but I'll help you look. There's something eerie about this fog. Be careful while you're walking around in it, Lady Laura. I don't exactly like her, but that's not the point here. It's not safe to be out here when the fog's this thick. I'll go try to. I'll go try to find her. Did she somehow get? Ah, oh, where did this girl go? This fog is just terrible. I thought, uh, I thought it was bad earlier this month, but this is much, much worse. I wonder if there's some sort of reason for all this. It would be nicer if it could be sorted out somehow. Did you hear? Julian Carno saved someone. They're so cool. <laughs> the Junior Eisenridge is the best. It's too bad I wasn't with them when they saved them, but even without me, the Junior Eisenridge is the best for sure. Oh, I can be as cool as those guys someday. It boggles the mind that Sven and uh, Fritz would end up getting lost. Those two are always using that highway. In fact, I can't think of any people who use it more than uh, than they do. This fog really is something else. Still, all's well that ends well. Our only concern is the whereabouts of the girl staying here. Nobody's seen any sign of her either. I hope she isn't lost in the fog. Uh oh. At least nobody saw her leaving the town, so she's still probably here somewhere. But I'm still worried. I hope she's alright. She in the back? No, we would have seen her already. Huh. Where would she be? Can you stop ordering wine with every single meal? The, this mirror is supposed to last us until we return home, you know. We have to be frugal. Well, if you're so concerned about saving Mirror, perhaps you should start skipping dessert. 
In what world is my dessert more of a financial drain than your wine? Why should I be the only one to make sacrifices? That's not fair at all. Um... Aren't you too worried about your daughter? I'm pretty sure that was your daughter, right? Yeah, yeah, because like she's tired of them arguing back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. What sort of prestigious uh, Ereboni eats their meals without wine? I refuse to stand for it. I refuse. Why must he always be so selfish? As long as things are well in his narrow little world, he cares for nothing for others. Eh, hey, about your daughter. Yep. M I A. Uh oh. Hold on, Julian. Did good work. It was smart using Paris' keen sense of smell to find Sven and Fritz when they couldn't use their eyes. It makes me shudder to think of what would happen if them boys, uh, to them if those boys weren't so clever. Wouldn't have been nearly as pretty when the fogs cleared up, that's for sure. Uh, those kids put themselves in danger too, but so I don't want to praise them too much. But everyone came home safe and sound. What could, what more, or what could matter more than that? The problem is deciding what to do with all this fog. I said the cause of the castle, but I wonder. Or what caused this thick fog to come back? Thick fog to come back, I wonder. It hasn't been that long since the last time it was here. It would be one thing if it was just a fog, but it feels as though something is out there. Watching us. It might just be in my imagination, but it sure is scary. Oh. Going spooky here. I forget, was at least the one scared of ghosts? I was on my way. Or I was on my way. No, 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 it was uh, Milium, right? Or was it the, or was it the both of them that were scared of ghosts? I was on my way back to the end when I realized those two girls outside the entrance are uh, talking about me. Wait. Outside the end. Oh. Oh. Uh, I was supposed to go back there now. They're bound to notice me as I go past. Tell them I'm here, okay? I was going to head back to the end after all this fog, but now I'm stuck here. I think this is her home too. Of all the places to wind up. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh. So she was just here the whole time. <laughs> okay. In all my years, I've never seen fog so thick. Maybe this is the spirits telling us how angry they are with us over this war. That's what I believe at least, but if so, what can we do to appease them? Fairy charm, proxy puppet, Yellow Jack, now nah, nothing new of note. We finally get word from Berea Heart Station that the trains are going to resume normal operation, then this happens. With, this, with fog this thick, the trains are the least of our worries. Now what are we supposed to do? We finally get word from- oh wait, uh... Yeah, same thing, same thing. Uh, don't care... okay. Master Quartz, same deal. Uh, of course there wouldn't be anything different Quartz-wise. All right. Now nah, for whoop. Leave this to me. Now nah, for the chapel. Something's up, that's for sure. All this is beyond me, though, so I guess we're gonna need to turn to you guys for your wisdom on this one. Well, that ought to do it. Just try and stay still for a bit, okay? I'll take care of things outside. Then, then at least let me accompany you. On a on a sprained leg like that, you'll fall over before you make it out the door. Uh, maybe so. Oh, she sprained her leg? I went outside to get a look at what was going on and ended up tripping on the steps. I feel ridiculous for falling like that. It really hurt too. Th that fog was so thick I couldn't even see my feet. And it came on so suddenly. I know we're, we need to work harder than ever to support the people during times like this, but... Ouch. Uh, how could I have been so clumsy? Oh. I mean, honestly, I don't fault you. Like, fog this thick? I mean, you know what makes this feel even more immersive? If I can like reduce the like full-on draw distance and make it like Silent Hill or Merlwind levels of draw distance. Oh man, now now we're really getting immersed in the fog here in Legram. Oh man. 
Yep, nobody's in the air uh, training hall. And I can just hear the Merwin music right now. Da -da -da. My voice got stuck for a moment there. Uh, but yeah, I always, I always love Merwin music. I still have yet, I still want to get around. I, it's like, it's on the bucket list of things I want to do, because like, I kind of gave like, a half-hearted attempt to do a stream of uh, Merwin like many years ago. Uh, I've since deleted the VODs because like, I felt like if I wasn't going to do a full modded playthrough like that, like, it, uh, I shouldn't leave it up like that. Even, even if surprisingly it did get a good amount of views on the on the VOD side of things, funnily enough. But I was like, no. Like, if I was gonna do a playthrough of Merwin like that, I needed to full commit. Because I ended up switching to other games in the meantime. And then eventually, uh, I d never really got back to doing Merwin. Uh, but I still gotta figure out how exactly I want to mod it out. Because I know there's open Merwin, which is basically like, uh... A new engine for Merwin that's more like optimized, stable, but then certain mods that end up using scripts will not be uh, compatible with Open Merwin. So you have to find like, or no, sorry, not using scripts, but like the script extender. I mean, so then you have to find mods that don't use that in order for them to be compatible. Pretty much, as least at least as far as I remember researching into it. But yeah, like, uh, I still gotta do a whole bunch of research to kind of fine-tune Merwin's, like, gameplay to my personal liking. But I kind of wonder how to hmm. go about that, or sift around for gameplay-related mods to kind of shift things around for the way I want. Although, I'm not gonna ruin the vanilla experience of, like, downloading the uh, guaranteed uh, attack mod. Because, oh man, I, like, I I will judge any and all Merwin players that, that do that. I'm like, mm. I know that sounds a little bit of leaders of gatekeeping, but I'm like, man, you're playing like a genuine like 3D RPG here that like has a lot of like dice rolls and shit, even though understandably it might not feel good, but I'm like, man, this is as close to the RPG experience as we can get before like Oblivion and Skyrim happen. <laughs> And besides, there's like multiple ways of trying to increase your like well. hit chances by raising your skills, applying buffs, and whatnot. So it's it's like, in my view, it's the player's responsibility to fix their shit with their character. Because <laughs> obviously every character in Merlin starts off garbage. Like you either move as like, like okay, like when you start off like a character in Merlin, right? So like the speed that Laura is moving right now. This is like decent movement speed already. And you're like, I would say, like, several levels into the game if you level up your speed stat. Or you started off with the, the steed birth sign. But then here's your default if you don't choose that, and you choose a race and gender, because gender also matters with the uh, stats as well. And if you choose like a race and gender with like slow ass speed, this is your default run speed. And I shit you not when I say this is your default run speed. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man. Like, the entire region of Merwin is actually really small if you up the draw distance and give yourself like much faster movement. But then because of like uh the I guess the perspective difference of like, oh, you're trying to run right now. But then like, y you know, you're so used to how slow you were that once you start picking up some speed, it still feels like you're still traveling like quite a ways around despite how actually this uh, actually small the region is in in-game units. <sighs> Again, like I still got a lot on my list of concurrent playthroughs to finish up because like once we're done with Trails of, Trails of Cold Steel 2, Soul Hackers 2, we, I need to get back to finishing the Romancing Saga games that I've started for Saga September that I still haven't gotten around because of, well, still doing this right now. 
So... Oh yeah, and then after we do... Actually, I think after Cold Steel 2 and Soul Hackers 2, uh, I did buy Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion just for like a quick little fun game to play. Hopefully within one shot, because a friend of mine uh, did play and clear the game in one go. And also 100% it while, while he was at it. So it doesn't take too long. And it's not like a game where you need 100% quick or where you could 100% quickly if you know what you're doing. It's just as long as you do all the optional shit along the way, it's just like, okay. So I should be able to get through that for a little breather from all the Cold Steel 2 and Soul Hackers 2 we're doing, right before we jump back into all the Saga games that I've yet to uh, wrap up. Because, <laughs> oh boy. I, we, there's going to be a mountain of stuff to remember to do once we get back to, like, Romancing Saga 3. Although, I've said this before, I'm not going back to Saga Scarlet Grace. Oh, fuck that. There, there were so many- I was mauling so much over that goddamn game's battle systems. And every aspect of that design that went against you, or against your favor. So every time something did happen, I was like, oh cool, we finally got a kill or got something going. Hey, like here's this like one poorly designed aspect of the battle coming into play here. I hope we didn't fuck your shit up. And half my team's dead. Thanks. Anyways, let's go talk to these people. No one doubts that Lord Airsaid is fighting as hard as he can, but all you seem to be giving him some good competition too. So let me teach you a really nutritious, blah, 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 nutritious recipe so that you can keep your energy levels up. Hey, mixed grill. What, what, what do we mean by mixed grill? <laughs> you have my thanks. I'll be sure to try it. Uh, try my hand at it. Old Bem said he heard the sound of a bell from the old castle. Wasn't there a, a bell ringing during the trouble back there? Uh, they're back in the summer. That means something's happening there now, too? This is serious. Uh, this is no time to be polishing pots. I can't even open the windows right now. Just as I thought uh, things had finally calmed down here. Uh, okay, recipe. Mixed grill. Hmm. Oh shit, wait. 9,000 HP? With like, 5 extra CP for some reason. But strength, defense, and speed? Ooh. Hey Elliot, you got any of those uh, specialties coming I up? I hope this turns out okay. What even is this? I'm uh, kinda lost for words. Arch grill or arc grill? Oh, it's the flip side! Yo! Arch strength, arts defense, and speed. Yo! That's sick. Alright, how about you guys? Alright, I'll give it a try. <laughs> My cuisine reigns supreme. Hmm. Not bad. D not bad. Oh, well, okay, there's like basically no reason for the mixed one if you can make the exciting one, but then. Okay, hold on. We're gonna need to change out some people. Sarah, you know how to make uh, this mixed grill recipe, right? No. Machias? Sure, I don't mind. You know how to work the grill. <laughs> now that's more like it. Oh. Oh, yo! It's basically Noble Command, but for five turns while restoring 9k HP and stuff. Ooh! You know what? I'll make extra bits of that. I can only make two more. Oh, we're out of white beast flesh! What? How do we have... How do we have so much red beast flesh, but not white beast flesh? Sure. I don't mind. <laughs> now that's more like it. Well, Becky's gonna get some purchases soon. <laughs> Alrighty then, so that's pretty much everyone we can talk to, so let's just go to the uh Brace and Go branch. Oh, 
Our apologies for the delay, er, for the delay in coming, Klaus. It's good to see you again too, Miles. Well, if it isn't Class 7. Oh, thank you very much for coming, my lady. Er, my lady. I assume you've uh, come regarding the request we sent to the Courageous. That's right. It made mention of the problems we face on the ground becoming worse of late. Would you mind elaborating, Klaus? Certainly. As you are aware, a number of strange occurrences have happened in the ground since the war began. The fog uh, covering the town has become thicker. Strange monsters have appeared on the highways, among other things. We were up against that kind of stuff when we came back here to find Laura and Emma a few weeks ago, so yeah. But didn't we solve the worst of it? The crypt is in the castle where the ones responsible. And we were able to return things to normal by defeating them more, so I thought. Oh, you certainly helped. Sally, even without those cryptid things, uh, without those cryptids accelerating the process, things here have been gradually worsening. The monsters have become more dangerous than ever. We even have reports of people hearing eerie laughter and seeing ghosts. That said, the greatest concern of all is this thick fog. It's become thicker and thicker over the weeks to the point where it's basically stopping the townsfolk from doing uh, basic daily tasks. That's not good. Visibility is pretty poor outside. Yep, I went tripped a few times on the way here. With the way it looks outside, I wouldn't be able to get much done either. I knew it had, or I knew we ha uh, something had to be done, so we started looking into ways to return things to normal. And then the other night, something else strange happened. Something else. We heard the sound of a bell ringing from Lohengrin Castle, no less. Again? That sounds like just what happened during our field study. I wasn't here at the time, but I know what went down from your reports. So once again, Lohengrin Castle is the center of the strange happenings for our fair the Grand. I only wish it weren't the case. Worse still, we found no uh, no one local free enough uh, to investigate the matter. It's as Klaus says, ordinarily we would have had some braces to take care of it. But we just don't have enough to go enough of them to go around. Even Tolo was occupied in Western Arabona, as you know. That's where you come in, Class 7. The two mysteries uh, relating to the castle under your belt. You're uh you're most likely the perfect one to take on the job. I see. Still, I fear this will be no easy task. There is bound to be danger looking within. Even with that in mind, could we trouble you to accept our request? No problem. Please, leave this to us. My father is the lord of this region. I'll be remiss to ignore its people's cries for help. I'll do all I can to help in father's absence. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. I'm most grateful for your help. I'll see to preparing a boat for you, uh, to take, or for you to take there at once. Please, come to the wharf as soon as you're ready to depart. We'll be right there, Klaus. Thank you. Thinking about it, it'd probably be best if we took Emma uh, with us to the castle, wouldn't it, Reen? Agree. Let's go back to the Courageous and give her an update. Okay, let me make a little save here. Let me reload. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's go back a little more. Okay, let me switch out the dialogue a little bit there. Uh, let's see. So, Sarah, of course. I mean, honestly... Uh... Let's see. And yeah, we still want to keep B, and then... Milia... Nah, actually... A... Eh, we'll go with this. I, I want to see what Milium has to say for the dialogue, and then we'll reload back. Let's see. Mentions. But, uh, didn't we saw the worst of it? The cryptids in the castle were the ones responsible. Uh, okay, so you're me help, blah blah blah, worsening, seeing go- <laughs> Ah, there, there's a line, there's, there's a line I was waiting for. <laughs> the ghost? That's said Ah, oh, yeah, no, that they, like basically she just adds her own line. Doesn't like it. <laughs> it anything else by chance. Okay. Uh, I'll trip a few times. Oh, really? So for that particular line, Machius and Fee and uh, were the only ones who added their own lines about poor visibility, huh? 
Nothing else strange happened. Heard a sound of a bell ringing. Sounds like just what happened during a field study. How can this be? I wasn't here at the time. Let's see. Oh yeah, Celine in coming in with understandable. Okay, anything else? With all the strange happenings there, I think it'd be best if Celine and I were part of the team. Uh, I guess so. Uh, okay, no, no, like, final quips about, uh, Milliam being scared shitless about this. <laughs> Alright, so, loading back. Yeah, we still need to- we still need to do all that stuff about, like, this other stuff here, but, eh. Okay, so let's return to the Courageous real quick. I think it's time we bring in... Let's see, how are we gonna rearrange this party? So, going with who we have to put in, so... Oops. So, Emma... B... Aunt Sarah here... Uh... Wait, uh, actually, do I want V or... Uh, well, she is lower level. P poor guy, I'm so, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. Uh, I I just want to see I just want to see Milliam's reaction to ghosts and shit. Okay, let's reorganize everything. Oh, no, so we already have Tauros. Uh, we can get rid of Domination, Carnage, Suzaku would co uh, go back here, uh, Jilin, that would actually go back on to Laura. Actually, what's, uh, Rakshasha? Uh, speed and movement, and honestly, I want to put that on... I want to put this on, uh, Machias, actually. Although, ugh. Where am I gonna... Okay, actually I'm gonna have to do it like this. So Rakshasha... Speedbreaker... Movement! I don't think it would be as important, so I'm not gonna bother. Poison 2. Okay, so we won't be able to mute, but we get some good uh, defense down, or uh, stat down and some poison. Also, confusion is always nice as well, because it seems like a decent amount of monsters are relatively susceptible to this. Or to confusion, I mean. Alright, so Carnage. Domination. Let's go bring back Waterfall to... to Milium. And anything else we need, we can slap on for... Let's see. Deal Breaker. And not gonna be too fussy about it, I think. Yeah, no, okay, we're good there. Alright, so Fee. You have 100% uh, evasion with your current setup. Hmm. No wing or falco. Uh... Or do I want you with? No, no. Uh, Laura has Murakumo. And did I want? Do I want to put Raven back on here instead to give you ultra speed and delay and all that shit? Or we can switch it up and actually have you put this on. Okay, so you got Biako, Wrath, Shining. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we could encounter with some Nightmare. Ooh, spicy. Okay. Okay, what do I slap on here? Um, 
Uh, steal two, burn two. Actually, no way. Uh, speaking of steal two, burn two. All right. And now attack three. Uh, what else did I even have here? Oh, I guess like evasion. Nah, even then it's only it's like kind of fuck all uh for right now. Uh, what else did I have here? Was a sword breaker? Yeah, honestly, I think this could just be the the free slots. You know, I'm just gonna put on detection here. All right, so we have uh Chilin. Oh yeah, we have an extra shield breaker. Well, eh, I guess for the time being, I'll switch this off because I don't want to make another one right right now. Uh, freeze two HP two. Ah, you don't need that HP. So say to you. Hmm. Uh, I want to get rid of that fifty strength. And I want Swordbreaker 2 to fit in. It seems like the only thing I can reasonably replace would be... Oh, uh, not on the same line. Oh, uh, right. Uh, Bait 2 go on here. Or maybe I could just skip out on the Evade 2, honestly, because 25% evasion is not going to make or break anything. If I can, like, get up to 50% or more, then sure. But otherwise, it feels like it's not going to be enough. Uh, wait, I'm being dumb. Uh, oh, oh, right, right, sorry. I don't know what's going on in my brain right now. Okay, so we have a good chance of lowering defense, so... Well, if we're going to assume it's additive... Actually, actually, actually you know what, let, let me Google this right now. Cold Steel 2 Efficacy... Rates additive. Uh, I gotta refine the search because I'm getting uh, trails of cold steel too. Let's see. Oh, I want to see the wrong one there. So, efficacy and other stuff. Oh, wait. Uh, at least some of this picture still up for viewing. There we go. Okay, so, let me see. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. That's the person talking about elemental efficacy. Oh, what about. Uh, hold on. What about status efficacy? Oh yeah, wait, let me check the, the wiki for for this. Uh take that a bit twice as often. Uh, uh Hold on, did I have, a, have an explanation here? Oh it, uh, unbalanced let me to see. No, I don't think I can really find anything in detail without uh, accidentally spoiling myself on something by accident, so I'm not gonna risk it anymore. Ah, damn. It's so hard to find an answer to this, cause like, cause let's say Laura with her, uh, with uh, Chilin and Shield Breaker and Sword Breaker 2, and then she uses her, like, true armor breaker, right? And because of how the stat down works, it's 100% already. So then, like again, is it like, am I adding two extra 20% on a separate thing so that it would, like, each thing would take its own chance to proc? Or is it additive so I have a 140% chance to proc a defense down? I don't know. Like, this is super important, like, uh, this is a very important question I've answered. <laughs> but I can't find any details on this shit.
Oh, well then. So wait, uh, double checking one more time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it freeze. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? Uh, I feel like I might as well just go the whole way and just put Mute 2 on here. And... Yeah, there we go. So, Lore is definitely going to be on the slower side. Also, I forgot to put back your... Uh, who has your Passionate Roof? Oh, uh, there we go. So, Evergreen. Passionate Rouge. Hmm. Oh yeah, wait, these shoes don't have any extra speed on them at the cost of having some extra defense and shit. Oh. Actually, who has our Strago Omegas? Ah, Fidas. Okay. So we can slap this back on. Strago Omegas. Alright, so we got some speed back, but not much, given... I FORGOT ABOUT THIS! I forgot about the Aura Jacket 2 from the... Uh... From the, the, the Rank Up Rewards. Oh my god, wait. A thousand defense and art stuns with 20% evasion? Wait, who do I want to give that to? Like, fees are ready. Well... Okay, to be honest, I I think Fee deserves to kind of have this. <laughs> I know she can evade, but she happens to take a very unfortunate magic attack, whether it's an actual art or a magic-related craft that somehow works around evasion somehow. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll give her the defense she needs. All right, I think I think we're good there. So yeah, just double checking. Uh, it'll go back down to 95, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure on that one. All right. So I think we're all set. I, I forgot about. I forgot about you. Uh. Okay. So what are we gonna do with uh, the instructor here? I guess we just slap that on. Uh, anything attack related? Nah. Oh yeah, wait, what is your... Oh, we don't have an action three. Well, uh, I'll go swap it off for, uh, for now. Oh, uh, actually, should I put on the gem? Uh, Space Mirage, no, you don't have a uh, room for that. Uh, Confused 2 would always be nice. Oh wait, uh, what am I doing? Okay, uh, action 3. Action 2. MP2. Oh! Well. Sarah is gonna be pretty dang basic. In terms of her skill set. So, alright. And double checking, we got everything all sorted out here. Alright, we're going. Once I report into uh, Prince Oliver. Hey there, Reen. Do tell me all about what you've been up to. I knew I could count on you. Oh. Man, that's a huge gap from A2 to A1. Oh my god, we need 270 AP? Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'll be looking forward to your next report. Oh, wait, what student are we still missing? 
Oh yeah, Rosine for the concert. Right, right, right. Okay, but first things Where first. Do you want to go? Leave it to me. Let's go take care of the things at Lohengrin Castle. Oh my god, this fog. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I'll keep these two length for the time being. Oh, what do I want? Be on point and then Reen to stay back. Nah, whatever. Uh, there's no telling what could lie in wait within its walls. Please be, er, please be sure that you are prepared for any eventuality. Uh, the traveling to Lohengrin Castle won't be able to return to the ground until your work there is complete. Uh, let me make a save. We're ready. Please, watch over the town while we're away, Klaus. We shouldn't be long. Go forth with the greatest of luck, everyone. We're going to need to be careful on our way there. We won't be able to see our hands in front of our faces. They swiftly made their way toward Lohengrin Castle. Despite the extra task of battling poor visibility due to the fog, Laura graciously accepted the role of operating the boat. Though Laura was the local Lagram, they mainly relied on Emma sensing its mana to guide them in the correct direction. Well, we arrived. This is my third time coming here now. Oh my. Well, no barrier here. Is she gonna say the word? Fog's really thick this time too. I guess this settles it. There, there really is something uh, weird going on here. The atmosphere here is anything but un uh wait uh but usual at the very least. I can sense a vastly a uh, greater amount of mana from here compared to the last time. It's as though this area is on the verge of becoming a world of its own. There's no question that the castle's, uh, the source behind what's happening over on the ground. There's no time what could happen if we leave things as they are. Then it's up to us to go inside and investigate. You guys ready? Oh yeah, wait, did I, uh, can I still make that pull off? Oh, I need white beast flesh for- Oh man, I didn't make any suspicious pull offs for- Actually, you know what? I- Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we might as well since we're here. Uh, okay, so... Need to go trade in for some white beast flesh and have Milium make some suspicious pull offs. Or... Wait. You only had... Oh, do you not have everything? Oh, wait, I thought you had... Wait, then... Oh, actually, maybe it should be in the other... No, this is like accessories and shit. Oh, you know what? You know, I don't think we'll be buying food here. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, is, is that one girl I saw before? Um, what's her name again? She was in another... Was it another Trails game? Or is it like a different Falcom game? I, I can't remember at this point. But, uh... I know I pointed her out before in Trails to Azure. With this little cameo uh, plush here. Uh, I don't remember. Wait, I don't think we'll be getting any, uh, foodstuffs here. Wait, so, what about... Wait, does Ymir have do white beast flesh on offer? Hold on. No, not the tavern. Oh, you don't have... Oh, fuck me. How do you get white beast flesh then? Oh well. If if we do or if we are able to 
uh, trade for it, it'll have to be pretty much near the very end of the game. Where they start opening uh, exchanges up for you to like get everything you actually do need. Oh well, I'll just have to rely on uh, increasing strength normally or through my other foods. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Uh, any fishing? No, no, we were here before and there was no fishing spots. Right, right. So there, I wouldn't, I would not imagine there'd be anything new now. But uh, just in case, one quick little paranoid sweep across here. Just in case. Yeah, 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 okay, we're good. I know we've been here once. Well, you never know. Oh, Ashley? Oh. Does taking... Does taking Shield Breaker... Or... Uh... Spirit Breaker increase the chance of applying a defense or arch defense down when you scan? Because it still counts as a craft that applies a, a, a status debuff. So would it still apply? Because it's, it's not a direct attack. But it says attacks and crafts, but does it mean a craft that actually hits and damages an enemy? Huh. Damn, Reed, you just had to slice that door open. This isn't good. Well, we can't say that we didn't expect this, at least. Ghosts! A formless monster. A another G word? They look like the fiends that we saw during our field study. Yeah, they do. One around every corner by the looks of it. I can feel the presence of the higher elements too. My guess is that, or my guess is the source of all this, uh, of all this matter would be in the underground area of the castle. Didn't we go there <clears throat> through the left wing of the building last time? There's this large sealed door at the end of the spiral staircase, I think. Ah, interesting. Well, let's get going, but be careful. I'm sure the cause of all this is somewhere in here. Leave this to me! We have the advantage here! Here I go! Leave it to me! Onward! Actually, hold. I need a scan. It's my turn. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. I've got it! My turn. Okay, we're burning daylight! The advantage is ours! Hmm. Well, uh, just in case this does actually. No, actually. No, no I think it might actually come. <laughs> or no, no never mind. I'm dead wrong. I'll back you up. Here we go. Second form. Damn. Now's our chance. Leave this to me. Here I go! Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Analysis complete! My turn! Here I go! That's that. Let's keep moving. A lot of training to do. Almost there's a level four raven.
sit down. Do you still have someone else take this? Nah. Basic attacks? Nah. My turn. Ha! My turn. Fly! They're off guard. Got you. Here I go. Analyzing the enemy's. Does vanish apply to detect? It wouldn't, right? It'd be silly Analysis though. Analysis complete. My yeah. turn. Ha! That's that. Let's Hey, Raven reached level 4. Alright. And you know what? I kind of miss... Actually... Oh, what's the difference between these? Oh. Man. Raven, in terms of pure stats, really sucks in comparison, huh? Well... Yeah. The bonus is like, if you really want to squeeze out that extra speed and also have delay on attacking, which... If you stack enough impedes, you can keep delaying a good amount, actually. We have the advantage here. Leave it to me. Actually, hold on, hold on a minute. Huh? Here I go. Burn to ash. Fall. Now, an opening. My turn. No escape! Sire! Here I go! Huh? Oh, we should be safe now. I feel stronger than ever! Got my eye on the prize! Hmm. I don't want to use Milliam here, but we won't be able to go back and refill CP, so we might just have to do this normally. I welcome all challengers. Okay. Oh, you're a new one. Alright, get in here. Let's move. Burn to ash. Fall. Really? I'm actually just gonna do the go. regular one here. Analyzing the Still need to bodies. analyze Death Slugger. Analysis complete. Okay. Oh, that is a trigger for Insta Kill, huh? Oh shit. I'm gonna slice you up. Now, I'll back you up. The end of that. Brains and brawn rolled into one. Nice work. Uh. Done. I'm awesome. And we got Chakra Chakravarti. Oh, I guess this. Heat up saintly force crescent mirror. Three hundred EP. Oh. Cool. Honestly, I wouldn't mind setting that over mine three. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, right. Although, it wouldn't be as useful on. Eh, whatever. Weird, we could open this door last time, but it's sealed shut now. Fortunately, we don't need to go this way. The man I can sense is at the end of the spiral staircase in the left wing. Let's turn back then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me just top off real quick. Shut up, Laura, Laura. Alrighty, let's go. Come on. 
I'm lazy. There we go. <laughs> we have the advantage here. I'm lazy. My turn. There. Pass. My turn. Oh. Yeah. Onward. Right. It's my turn. Okay, what's your weaknesses? Uh, well, time and okay. Safe for now. It would be smarter to switch out. Uh, it would be smarter to switch out Sarah here in this case for actually. Oh no! We oh I only gave myself one caster. Oh, oops. Yeah, about that Hellfire. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch that out real quick. Oh, I don't have uh. Ugh. I did not give myself uh, good stuff to work with here. Hmm. I wonder if I should take Ares for now for self-sustain. Eh. Actually, how much EP does that cost? So... 450. Oh. Wait, uh, just double checking. If I switch this off, 450. Oh no, no. So this is the base. Yeah, th this is the base cost. So 450 times 50, like 150 percent, 675 EP for Shadow Blade. You know, something tells me I might actually need to put on EP EP <laughs> Okay. Uh. uh let me get rid of holy. I don't want to get rid of holy breath, man. I want my speed. Uh, it might be necessary, so I actually save on costs here. There we go. That's much more manageable. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty much gonna force myself gonna or to use a uh, abyss shadow so I can keep up in speed here. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot to put on crystal dress for Emma for some reason. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to upgrade everyone's equipment going into this. Oops. So I'm missing at least a hundred strength or art or no, not art strength. 100 strength on everyone who relies on attacks. Oops. Now's our chance. Let's get him. My turn. Whoops. Burn to ash. Fall. Now, let's go, everyone. Leave this to me. Oh, so close to the. So close to the wipe here. Oh man. Nah, oh, she, she stopped to move. Yeah, I thought it was okay, enough range. Could have gotten like a bit more extra multiplier if I didn't move. Or actually, there there was the multiplier for not moving, right? I need to double check that. I did it. Actually, is there a thing in the help section about uh bonuses from? Uh, use Lost Art, Active Overdrive, Scouter. Uh, uh huh, Remedy, one within three turns, Counterattack, Unscathed. Oh, no, 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 they, they remove the bonus for not moving. Okay, so, eh, not right then. Wait. 
Where is... Oh, I skipped the chest I was up here somehow. The treasure chest is absolutely Ooh, beautiful. Ooh, yeah, I would have missed out on a dark emblem. Okay. More abyss shadows coming up in case we really need to pack in the speed. Let's make a save here just in case. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, let's make this save here. Is this the area you're sourcing the... Or, is this the area the source of mana you, Or, wait. Oh, is this area the source of the mana you've been sending, Emma? Yes, I'm sure of it. I could feel it more and more strongly as we walk down the stairs. I can't see an orb like the one we found during our field study, though. W was that a bow chiming? Get ready for a fight. The spiritual force I feel now is uh, unbelievable. Oh, is it... Uh-oh. Oh, hello, sir. No way. Didn't we fight this thing already? Isn't this the f isn't this the fiend we fought during our field study? It's that uh, Nosferatu. It survived and become even more powerful than before. This has to be the s er, this has to be because of the disturbances in this area, spirit veins. I'm sure of it. So then, this is the culprit behind the thick fog ailing the gram. Which means there's but one thing uh, for us to do. Exercise it. Here we go. Time to take it down. A worthy adversary. My turn. Efficacy rates. Ooh, oh, stat downs are all on the table here. Ooh. Okay, hold on though. Oh no, I don't have uses. Right. Shit. I don't have noble command here. So, seal, freeze, burn, faint, confuse. Yeah, I got nothing here. Huh? Let's move. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. My turn. Rank down as well. Nice, nice. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Analysis complete. Announce for author that changed you to the loss of balance in Erebonia. Curses the souls of all and gives nightmares. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait, they're not gonna make me rescan. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Hmm. Okay. Actually, if we're going to do this... Hold on. Uh, was there anything else that gave 50% strength, or was it only that one item? I wish you can kind of just filter your stuff here. Uh, 50%... No... Hold on, there had to have been like one other thing that gives 50% strength, right? Or maybe I haven't... No. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 special curry. There we go. Okay. So... I'm counting on right. Come on, Lammy! Crit, which is like a 5% chance. We or we just kill it, alright. Alright, bye bye, Nosferatu. Go back to Gehenna. <laughs> Don't mess with us. For someone so scared to go, she has no problem one shotting them. I'm so glad. Got 
Ah. Ah. What is this? To bear thy will, if thou hast aught uh, thou wouldst protect. I don't know, or I don't know, but no one here appears to be any worse for wear because of it. The spiritual force it was exerting has completely vanished, and with it, the spear veins seem to be returning to normal. Ah, <sighs> I fear the worst for them for a moment, but looks like all's well that ends well. This should hopefully mark the end of all the strange happenings in Legrand. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without everyone here either. Thank you. Anything for you, Laura? No problem, I'd say that wraps it up, or wraps things up nicely. Uh, can we stop with the ghosts? Green, is something wrong? You've been totally silent. Did you get injured? Oh no, it's nothing, honestly. Let's get back to the grandma and report to Klaus and Ma- Reed, come on! I- Oh my god, I- Uh, I mean, it's happened so much already before, but it's like, man... Like, you think we're- Since we're this far in... To all the spiritual shit and visions or whatever weirdness... You think you, uh, Reen should tell Emma, hey, I had this weird vision, I was isolated, everything looks super, like, uh, white and washed out, and then the thing, the door opened and told me this phrase, what does this mean? And if anything, Celine would be the one who would probably know something we don't, but she doesn't tell us because we never asked. Well, then that'll probably advance the story a bit too quickly, <laughs> before any crucial moments, huh? Come on, Reen! Uh, of course. That had to have been a vivid enough dream for you to describe something. The mystery saw Class 7 set the board, the orbital boat, and, or orbital boat they used to travel to the castle and made their way back to Legram. On the way, they could see the thick fog hovering over the we uh, the lake weakening before their very eyes. And by the time they set off the stepped off the boat once again, the air had largely returned to what they remembered fondly from the field study. I'm gonna have to talk to everyone again, aren't I? Ah, oh, god damn it. I can't thank you, uh, I can't thank you all enough, uh, for what you've done. I must say, my lady, you've done an admirable job fulfilling Lord Airsaid's duties in his absence. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do so without the aid of my classmates, or however. The fog that was just hanging over the town just disappeared as if it was never there. Still, I'm curious uh, what caused that Nosferatu you mentioned to appear now of all times. You've already defeated one before, didn't you? So why now? I wish I could say for sure, but I heard that uh, is that is the form of an ancient- or er, wait. That is the form an ancient tribe eventually took after being liberated from the shackles of life. I don't know much about them myself, but most likely the soul, the soul of that one was drawn towards the castle for some reason, and then the chaos in Erebonia caused it to reawaken. Would- that means we have no guarantee that it won't do exactly the same thing again. Please don't revive again, please. You know, I love how Milliam is so scared of this, and yet here we are bringing her in anyways. <laughs> all that means uh, is that we'll, or all that means is we'll have to uh, be that much more cautious then. And the town's vocal ground will have to be as well. I'll be certain to pass the message along. Pardon me, Reen, but is something bothering you? You've been oddly quiet ever since we left the castle. Oh, finally we're addressing this! Come on! Are you sure you aren't hurt? Uh, no, I'm um, fine. Just lost in thought is all. I can't get that door I saw it on my head. I really got to try and focus. We got bigger things. Reen! Oh, come on! Not sure if I buy that, but if you insist. Again, you have my deepest thanks for your assistance. 
It could hardly compare to your efforts, but I would like you to accept this as a reward. Yokai Gem. Why, thank you, Klaus. If anything else happens here, don't hesitate to call us. I'll be sure to do so. Take care. Okay, what what is this thing? Attacks and crafts can cause arch strength and arch defense. Uh, down. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> I knew asking all of you to help was the right choice. Here's hoping things start returning to normal around here for now. Naturally, we of the guild will do all we can to smooth out the process. Thank you so much for what you've done. I wish you all the very best in the days to come. I'll be praying that you will have, or that you will all make it through this war in good health. All right, I am so not ready to reread this entire town again. Oh my god! All right, we'll start from the house. After a quick little water break. Uh, I feel like I might not be able to stream tomorrow with all this reading. Okay, come on. We're, we're almost done. The Gram is literally the last place we need in terms of dialogue, and then we can move on to Keldic. And then that one thing for uh, Elisa's uh, pocket watch. I can hardly remember a time when uh, they weren't fighting, but Julian and Dad have finally made up with each other. They've obviously wanted to do that for a long time. So what was that all about? Huh, <sighs> they're so silly. But enough about them. I need to make something for Fritz to thank him for saving Dad's life. What should I make him? Huh. I need to make something or I need to make something to thank Fritz for saving Dad's life, but I don't know what that something should be. Now that all the fog trouble's over, I can put some real time into thinking it over though. Huh. Let's see, where's where's the old lady? Oh, she's uh, the one praying over by the statue of Monument, right? Yeah. Hey there. It's uh, shaped up into quite a lovely day, hasn't it? I'm off to do some work at the trading hall. Uh, s sounds like they got uh, got a leak. Blah, blah, blah. Got a leak on the roof. And of course, I'm bringing Julie along so we can help out too. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna help Dad with work. I'll show him the real skill of the Junior, uh, junior Eisenritter. He's gonna be blown away by how helpful I am. Aww. Uh, what am I doing? I'm checking all the Orban lights? Uh, Orban lights now that the fog's gone. Oh, whoops. I I'm glad it cleared up though. It would have uh, been awful to have it covering things up for ages again. Thanks for taking care of it for us. Oh, whoops. Oh, hold on. Julian finally managed to make up with his dad. He was so happy about it too. If he wanted to make up so much, why was he so stubborn in the first place? But Oh boy. What a beautiful sunny day this has become. It seems the spirits are finally at peace again. What is this you're doing? Very impressive. <laughs> I hope you and the spirits remain in good company with one another. I was sitting in the in church when I remembered that uh, presses were once used as offerings here on the gram. I made some as quickly as I could, hoping they might somehow appease the spirits and offer them to this monument here. And when did you know it? The fog went away just like that. You don't think it could have possibly been the pretzels, do you? Bruh. Oh, I, did, I didn't think that fog was ever going away. Oh, you're the ones who took care of it. Thank you all so much. They do say spirits gather at this monument, which is why I chose to make the offering in the first place. And while this might sound a little sacrilegious, but I didn't expect it to have any actual effect. <laughs> sure, believe what you want. I can't believe it. That fog just disappeared, like it was never even there. It's really lifting my spirits to have it gone, though. I feel so much happier. Hooray for sunlight! Yay for the sun! The scary fog's only gone. Yippee! Alright. Well, that's over. We even managed to get the liner into port. He did a great job of dealing with the fog, too. Thanks again, everyone. Seeing the liner unscathed after the fog cleared was a real relief. 
I think we've seen more than enough strangers in this town for one year. I just hope this is the last it, it sees. Whew, we, we finally made it to the ground. We were merely sailing our way over here when all of a sudden we are surrounded by that awful fog. The terrible visibility would have been bad enough, but the engine and the radio started acting up too. What a nightmare. It took half the town, but we uh, finally managed to land. I've never been on a more exhausting journey in my life. Nothing in the world appears to me more now, right now than dragging myself into that inn right there and having a pint. Ugh. Anything here? Nah. Okay, so now we just need to go to the inn, see what they gotta say. Oh. Oh boy. Who wants to bet a couple Mira that they didn't notice and they're either worried or they're gonna yell at Lena. Let me see. Oh no. Okay, no, this is to go either either way. You were stumbling around outside in that fog? Then you got stuck out there and couldn't find your way back. What were you thinking? You only just noticed I was gone, or you only just noticed I was gone, didn't you? Oh, of course, now's the only time you two can agree on something. I couldn't believe my ears when I found out where she's been. You would think that after all these years she would have learned to pay attention to her surroundings. She never changes. Bruh. She's always been some- or had, uh, had an irksome habit of vanishing without warning like this. Because you're so busy bickering amongst yourself you don't even pay attention to your goddamn daughter! If she doesn't shape up, she'll wind up in serious danger one day. Oh sure, blame your daughter for your lack of awareness. While you're busy arguing over, oh, I can't have a meal without my dessert or without my fancy wine. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he found me in the end. She even brought me back here. Or, she even brought me here. Or, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, brought me back here. Oh no, she probably thinks I was scared of the fog or something now, doesn't she? Ah, well, that's embarrassing. I'm so glad they found Lena unharmed. Now that the fog's gone, I can finally go back to washing, cleaning, and airing out the clothes. I never uh, have been so excited for menial chores. You kids did a good job, or a great job with sorting that fog out for us. Thank you all. We really had our visitors on edge, so it's a real relief to have it gone. If only the war could be taken care of so quickly and simply. There's no one up here, up here, right? Yep, okay. We good. So now it's just the store. Well, I found that Lena girl. Turns out she was in our shop the, the whole time. I escorted her back to the end, but I'm surprised she didn't go back on her own. Maybe the fog intimidated her. I thought she was a, <clears throat> a wretched piece of work when we first met, but I think I, I think I might have judged her too early. Wow! She made extra sure to thank me for escorting her back, after all. Even if she did it incredibly quietly. Well, anyway, now that the fog is all gone, it's back to cleaning for me. There are little bits of dust everywhere, that, and there's only one woman who can uh, clean them all up. Me. Alright, girl. You do your work. I can't believe you actually managed to get rid of that fog for us. Not sure how you did it, but I'm really impressed regardless. Uh, we really owe you our gratitude. I wonder what caused it all. Legends tell us that the Grav experienced unusual weather during the War of the Lions, too. Could it be linked to the war? Does this prove that the weird weather is really due to the spirits lamenting the war? Oh. A giant fiend appeared in the castle, you say? How terrifying! That you emerge victorious regardless is a true testament to your skill in battle, however. How you how did you do so for that matter? Was it a long fight? A challenging one? I want to know all the bloody details. Well, you see what to. First, you let Nosferatu summon up all the ads, and then you switch in Milium, and then Milium chows down on some special curry, and immediately after fires the orbital laser, and then just wipes the field clean. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. No, oh, I suppose this isn't the time. Do, do come back and fill me in the details another day if you can, I can hardly wait. Yeah, yeah, sure, all the, the juicy details. <sighs> Alright, come on, let's go wrap things up.
Good doggo. Back to the uh, the chapel. I told th uh, Teramis uh, she should stay in here and rest, but she just had to go out and pray at the monument. Oh, there's one sister who needs to learn how to take a break once in a while. She works herself way too hard. Hell, she works me way too hard. By the way, thanks for taking care of all that fog for us. Props. Who the hell instated you to be the father of this chapel, Hamilcar? I'm glad things around here are back to business as usual. Let's forget about the war and celebrate for a while. I still can't believe my eyes. The fog just went, uh, just went in a snap. No fog uh, doesn't mean no monsters, though. We can't let a guard down. That's for us to worry about. You all take. You all probably have your own work to do. Take care and come back soon. Hello, everyone. Wonderful work getting rid of that fog. You made yourself a friend of everyone in town. We should be able to take care of things from here. First, we'll resume patrolling the highway to keep the people safe. We should have much more important work to handle. Anyone else here? Yep. Luckily for us, Fritz's injuries weren't all that bad. I'm surprised he managed to get away with just a few scratches considering how many huge monsters he, he went up against. Sounds like sounds to me like his training uh his training's bearing fruit. I apologize that he had to see me in a moment of weakness like that. Still, I do believe some satisfaction that uh wait. Do feel some satisfaction that I was able to keep Sven alive, even if I couldn't do it alone. At first I felt at first I felt ashamed of myself, but maybe a true warrior fights best with the with people by his side. Huh. Next time, I'll try to be strong enough to protect them on my own. <clears throat> Alright, now to the mansion. No one be cooking in here. I couldn't believe my eyes. The fog just vanished just like that. Then all you could see in this or all you could see in this place was a clear lake and low and green castle on top of it. It looked like just how it was described in the old legends about the War of the Lions. I need to go and tell all the others in town about this. The maid was over here. Thank goodness, now I can actually air all the bed covers. Thank you, or thank you ever so much for what you did. From what I've heard, you did plenty over in Bray Heart too. <laughs> well, aren't you guys busy bees? The exploits of the Courageous have been the talk of the town lately. It makes me really happy, to be honest. Good luck with whatever you do next. Oh, alright. So that is the Gram dialogue done. Sweet. Alright, now we just gotta go back to Keldic. Where do you want to go? Full speed ahead! <clears throat> Oh, uh, I need to bring back Elliot for this. Whoops. Oh, wait, no, no. We need to talk to Instructor Mary. Right. Oh. Uh, who else would have dialogue for Instructor Mary? Dias? Okay, uh, hold on. Well, we need to go back. Where do you want to go? Leave it to me! hard. Oh no no, we're not very hard. Ruer. What, what am I doing? It's very hard. Where do you want to go? Full speed ahead! There we go. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Alright. Moving on around. <clears throat> Why hello everyone. What a pleasure to see you. Is there something I could help you with? If you wouldn't mind, we have a favor to ask. Oh. They explained that they were looking for musicians to perform in the concert in Keldic. A concert for the people of Keldic? I've heard terrible rumors about what happened there. It's truly an it's truly awful what happened to those people. It would be my honor to uh, play as a part of the or er, uh, to play a part as the supervisor of the Thor's Wind Orchestra. <laughs> we're really happy to hear it. We would greatly appreciate your help. Huh, get, or get on out there and show everyone what we instructors are made of. By the by, uh, is there any chance you've got an instrument uh, you can play on you? I do in fact. I brought a flute with me from the academy. 
and I'm not bad if I do say so myself, so there's no need to worry yourselves. That should, er, that should sound great with the other instruments. Okay, hold on real quick. Think of... I think I'm gonna pop my knuckles in a bad way. Hold on. Oh, oh, hold on real quick, Mo. <laughs> okay, this is why you don't get too careless when trying to... Uh... Like, pop your knuckles a little bit. Hold on. Okay. We'll be back once we're all prepared. <laughs> Fine by me. I'll be here practicing or practicing in the meantime. I can hardly wait to hear her play. With that, we, could, we successfully gathered all the performers and instruments we need. Or, we need. That's right. Let's head back to Keldic and let's uh, let Razine know. Alright. I wish I could hear the concert in Keldic myself. Still, I'm sure Mint will be thrilled to be a part of it. Though I hope she doesn't cause any any trouble. Unlike me, that girl can be pretty clumsy sometimes. Aww. Actually, do we need to talk to the other students within the Courageous to do anything here? No, they would have like the quest markers on their heads, right? Oh, uh, oh wait, wait, actually, wait, wait, different dialogue. You're doing a concert for the people of Keldic, right? Well, it's a good thing I brought my trusty flute with me, just in case. I haven't played in a while, so I'm kind of rusty, but when does that ever stop me? You can count on me! Oh, oh. Okay, well, there's no marker and there's no special cutscene, so I would imagine there's nothing actually... There's no like, bo there's not like a bonus AP situation here, right? Elliot told me about the concert already. I'll be there. About... No, no, I think they. I think Elliot said that he would have told all the other music students ahead of time. So I think we're good here. Okay, we'll get to the other students that we've recruited once we we got go? all the students and stuff. So back to Calvic. Leave it to me. Oh, there you are. How the preparations going? Hello, everyone. Everything's coming along, uh, coming along nicely. In fact, we have about the same amount of space as we did during Trista's concert. Now that the podium's gone, that's great. We shouldn't have any trouble setting up the piano if we got this much room. Yeah, there's more than enough space for everyone here. Oh, could that be you found enough people? Yeah, we found enough. We found uh, both enough performers and instruments to move forward with the concert. We told them that we'll go and collect them as soon as everything's ready here. Really? Thank you so much! I knew asking you all was the right call. All that remains are the final preparations. And the piano should be arriving soon too. We'll have to spread word, uh, spread the word after we help carry it here. All the wind orchestra members are on standby too, so yeah. <laughs> I got a, I got such a good feeling uh, about this concert. Shall we begin then? <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Let's make sure they can give everyone a concert to remember. Thanks. Is everyone else ready to begin? Wasting no time, everyone began working together to set up the stage. They did so quietly as possible as to not disturb those still recovering. And soon enough, the piano arrived as well. Whew, that was a little too heavy for comfort. And this is the piano you mentioned. I love it! This is, it's a rather fine one, too. I'm impressed at the condition it's in, considering what was left. Yep, there won't be any issues playing it. But that's no surprise. It was made by the uh, Revelt Company. They really know their stuff. Wait a minute. Uh, Revelt? They're no company known for their high-quality instruments. My violin was made by them, too, actually. I remember Gwyn showing me one of their music boxes when I was younger. Is that so? That would explain why the name sounds so familiar, even though I don't know much about music. But that's not the only place you might have heard the, the name, though. Oh! I forgot about Captain Claire's last name! Oh, I forgot! Isn't Captain Claire's surname, uh, uh, Revelt? Hey, you're right! Yeah, her full name's uh, Claire Revelt. Uh, it may be just a coincidence, but perhaps there is a connection between them. William probably knows, but it's probably pointless to ask. 
I'm curious, but I don't think Claire would appreciate me snooping around in her business when she's not even here. Sorry, I probably, should, I probably should have kept my mouth shut. I don't want us getting sidetracked. Let's focus on getting the stage set up for now. <laughs> yeah, sure. The quicker the better. <laughs> Ricky Millie just whistling away. <laughs> God damn it. No longer distracted, they finally started uh, properly setting up for the concert. It wasn't long before all was ready. Afterwards, they gathered the performers and the rest of the wind orchestra. And after a quick meeting and rehearsal, the concert, uh, the concert could officially begin. What the? It's coming from the auditorium. They did mention there'd be some kind of event taking place there, now that I think of it. Andre! What a lovely melody! And it's so soothing. <laughs> Feels like the pain from my body is just fading away. Mm. Oh! Uh, sis? Uh, huh? Where am I? Oh, what's with the music? Jake's awake too! Man, oh man, I should have Machias here. Oh man, oh well. Hey, Minta joining in too. Now I'm bringing in everyone. Ah, Bridget, uh, Bridget's turn. Nice. The concert went on without a hitch, attracting more and more people over time. One after another, the townsfolk began to wander into the chapel to hear the music. Even the injured were coming in to listen. Upon looking at the turnout, Class 7 could tell a spark of hope had returned to the people of Keldic. That was absolutely fantastic! Thanks a lot for joining us, sis. And thank you, Instructor Mary and Andre. I don't think this would have gone as well without you too. Oh, without you too. I'm glad I can help. It was nice being able to play alongside Elliot for the first time in a while too. It was absolute, an absolutely wonderful experience, especially considering how many people we had in the audience uh, by the end. Huh, th that is all the proof I need that the love within our music touched the hearts of those who heard it. God damn it, Andre. <laughs> it was a blast getting to perform with Instructor Mary. It was a good time. Uh, it was a good chance for me to make up for missing the concert back in summer too. Thanks for inviting us, Elliot. It was a pleasure being able to perform side by side with professionals. Honestly, the wind orchestra played very well. They held their own even on the same stage as professionals. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Listening to it, it was as though a gentle breeze was blowing in my heart. It's been a while since I had the treat of hearing Fiona play the piano. Yay! Everything turned out great! This is an unprecedented miracle. All the people who were previously unconscious have now awoken. I see asking all of you for this favor was the correct choice. Thank you so much. We too wish to be of uh, some help to the townsfolk, so no thanks needed. In fact, we should be thanking you and getting in contact with us. Still, the success of this concert means so much to me. I've always wanted to repay the people here for all they've done for me, and now you've all helped me accomplish that. That's why I received permission from Father Zero to accompany you all on the courageous from here on out. Really, that's great! We could always use more people. We look forward to having you on board. Thank you. Hey! Sweet! Now I gotta read everyone's dialogue again. Oh, fuck. Come on. You cannot believe how much my throat hurts from talking right now. Okay, it's not that bad, but I can feel it. It was so nice to get uh, the opportunity to take in part of er, to take part in such a fantastic concert with all of you. It'll be a long, winding road to heal the townsfolk's hearts, but I would be thrilled if this served as the first as the first step down that path. 
Thank you again for everything you did to make that performance possible. It was lovely, lovely to see the window crusher perform again, and to participate myself, no less. I wish you the very best uh, best of luck in uh, whatever you do next. Huh. Once again, I've filled those around me with the gifts of love, or with the gifts of love and courage. Now it's practically guaranteed that Keldic will recapture its former glory. And when it does, you'll find me at the Grand Market, fiddle in hand. Night may be the first uh, good night's sleep since Celtic was attacked. Thank you so much for that concert. It was truly a splendid performance. We all feel much better after that concert. In fact, I can't remember the last time I've been so at ease. Life hasn't been exactly kind to us of late, after all. Oh hey, Daddy's all better again. Yeah, it's better when he's like this. It's his job to make everyone happy after all. He has to be happy too. Now that was a solid concert. Could have been a better way to cheer me up. Seems like everyone has regained consciousness thanks, uh, thanks to it as well. Well, that's been told. You cannot give in uh, to the depression. Ha <laughs> Alright troops, we're gonna get Kelly back to the way it was. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm conditioned. Nah. Nobody would nobody could have expected that the concert would lead to a miracle like this. Adios is truly with us at all times. But it would be negli a negligent of me not to offer you and Rosine our deepest thanks for preparing all this in the first place. Thank you again, and please take good care of Rosine for us. Rosine's told us that she has or she plans on joining all of you. We owe her a debt of gratitude after all the hard work she's put put in over this past month and a half. Please take good care of her, or take good care of her, won't you? I never would have expected a concert to help anyone regain consciousness. That was the very definition of a miracle. And a reminder that we can't abandon hope just yet. We have to move forward, no matter what challenges we may face. I need to do some checkups on the two on the two now that they've regained consciousness. Once again, thank you for your help. It warms my heart to see people working so selflessly. Jake, you're awake! How are you feeling? Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. You wanna bring me something to eat though? I'm starving. Uh, Jake, you're alive! I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Can I keep it down a bit? You give me a headache here. Thank you, Adios. Hold on. Uh, it feels like I've been asleep for weeks. I don't think I've ever been this hungry either. I gotta eat something before I collapse. Hines, I got a favor to ask. What is it? Just say the word and I'll do it. Thanks. I really owe you one. Truth be told, I want to hand my store off to you for the time being. Oh! <gasps> Come on! Now's not the time for that! So he cares about his store that much, huh? Oh, good grief, you're one inspiring kid, aren't you? <laughs> I'm begging you, Heinz. I don't want to give up on it. Maybe I can't run it myself, but someone else could. Why, uh, hello everyone. It's been a while. I had to apologize for making you all worry about me. <laughs> That's not something you need to apologize for. The fact that you've uh, come to is all that matters. You look like you've been doing a lot better. Huh, you really had me worried. Next time I stop by for a drink, you're on pouring duty. Got it? <laughs> I can live with that. I heard about uh, both the market manager's passing and your actions afterwards. Thank you so much for everything. After all, after all you've done for everyone in town, it would be rude of me not to recover as quickly as I can. I do hope you all keep uh, walking this path you've chosen to believe in. I'm sure that you have what it takes to change things for the better. Your trust means a lot to us. Thank you. We we truly do appreciate it. Oh, Luis, you finally opened your eyes. Thank you, Adios. Thank you so much. Calm down, Dad. She's awake. She's awake. It's a miracle. Thank you, Adios. Uh, 
But that concert was something else. I feel like I'm ready to try to move, uh, move forward now. There's no time, uh, this, uh, this is no time to be letting our spirits drop. We need to restore this town to its former glory. I might not be in any condition to do that just yet, but now I'm inspired, or extra inspired to get well enough to do my part. All right. Dialogue clear. Now for everyone else. All right, okay. I can chew through this, I believe. I had the pleasure of hearing that concert at the church. It served as a much needed uh, soothing moment uh, between all the depression. We can't just move around forever. There has to be something we can do to fix all this. Uh, first thing I want to end like this. Nah, okay, actually, is there anyone else here pretty much the same? Oh, oh, no, no, no. So, they, it's, uh, so basically I have to check everyone because uh, who knows who got updated or not. There was some music coming from the church uh, just a little while ago. It reminded me of the days when the Grand Marco was still open. Ah, I miss those days. Uh, that music reminded me of all the fun times of the Grand Market. Here's hoping it opens up again soon. Also, be right back. Emergency restroom break. Be right back. Alright, I am back. Oh. This is what happens when you go through like... What was it? This is what happens when you go through a cup of coffee, a cup of soy milk, and two cups of water in one go. <laughs> okay, I'm much better now. Uh, I can sit around all day. Okay, that's not new dialogue. Debris. Uh, what about the, the weathercock? Yeah, I heard all about it. I couldn't believe my ears. But it sounds like Luis really did regain consciousness. I was so relieved when I found out. I've been worried sick about her the, this whole time. Oh no, I'm so relieved I can't even hold the tears back. I shouldn't be crying after something this miraculous happening. It's hard to express just how thankful I am to all of you. You've all done so much for this town. Thank you so much, from the bottom of my heart. The uh, no. So you're still depressed. Who's staying over here? Ah. Any dialogue? Doesn't... No. Okay. So, you don't have anything new yet? Uh... So, you don't know what to do anymore. Okay, so it seems like people who were furthest away don't have anything new to really say. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I 
get the stuff repaired. If we, no. Okay. Actually, no. Wait, was that new? Uh, ah, whatever. Uh, I caught word of the performance. You all, uh, you all held for the townsfolk. Seems to have done them a world of good. I hope this is a sign of better things to come. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's about it here, right? Because everyone else in this house has gone. Yeah. And yeah. <clears throat> and uh, that father, or was it Luis's family? Oh, yeah, wait, what about that guy watching the farmhouse? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shall we? I've got this. So, does the guy at the farmhouse know about this performance now? Now that Luis is all right and everything, let's see. They, the Falcom, go out of their way to change this guy's lines. Let's see, Paul's daughter seems to be in critical condition, so he asked me to look after the fields for a while. Oh no. Uh, no. Okay, no, no. He uh, he doesn't have anything actually right. new. Okay. So I think that about does it for Keldic. Because I don't think there's anything at the other farmhouse. There's no. Doesn't sound like there'd be an actual reason for that to update, of all places. So, okay. I think we're good enough to return back to the Courageous. This time we're traveling to, to Saxon Iron Mine. So we can get the iron Wait sheet from one of the miners in this place. Shall we? Right. Yep, all the way down there. Oh, uh. What? What do you mean I can't adjust the party while on the bike? Because uh, I don't have a Lisa here, do I? Yeah. So, switching, switching you out. Yeah, maybe Shall later off stream, uh, maybe I need to spend some time catching guys up in levels. So, if anything, I'm probably... Actually, what do I want to level up on, guys, in terms of uh, XP? Uh... Poor Mobius, I didn't even bother lowering this shit up. Uh, let's see... Katsu... Uh... We'll just be going back to Thor Wing? Eh... Eh, you know what, maybe we'll just focus on leveling up Wing. There would be a point in the game which in which everyone automatically catches up to a certain level. Ah, okay. But I feel like in the meantime, I feel like if everyone's gonna catch up, that's gonna be wasted XP not going into the master quartz. <laughs> so by that logic, this is, this is the prime time to feed an extra quartz XP. <laughs> I really do. I really do wish the Cold Steel games would do like separate XP points for Master Quartz, so then you wouldn't like scale down leveling your Master Quartz if you try to like over level in an area. Because at some point you wouldn't be able to max everything out in one playthrough. I mean, of course they kind of intend on you new game plusing, maybe resetting your levels to then feed more XP back into your Master Quartz and everything, but. Man. Anyways, I think we can ask him if he knows where we can get that special alloy sheet. We might as well try, right? Um, excuse me. Hey, uh, you need something? They explain what or why they were looking for a special alloy sheet. Ah, I get you now. Well, you're in luck. Uh, we got more, or we got more of them than we know what to do with. I, I think I actually remember handing one off to Elisa's dad way back when. Really? That's right. Can't believe it took me until now to uh, just blah, blah, blah. took me until now or just now to realize why he was so happy about the damn thing. But if he was using it to make a present for his wife, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, he always used to get so excited about or excited when he was making something new, almost like a child. <laughs> you got that right. Anyway, we got tons of fragments like the one uh, I gave or I gave him uh, in here. Just head on in and ask her at the station. Just tell whoever's on duty there I sent you, and it'll give you exactly that, exactly what you need. Thank you so much. I'll head in there right away. No problem. Good luck fixing that watch. 
But look at that pocket watch. We got loads of sheets just like the one you want inside. Just have whoever's in charge on the platforms that I sent you. Shall we? I've got this. Oh, I'm away, sir. Uh, oh, it's by the Fright Station, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's handling the inventory. Excuse me, do you have a minute? I mean, explain uh, that they were searching for a very thin special alloy sheet. Really? And it doesn't have to be uh, very big, yeah? Uh, we got plenty of those left over. Hold on just a sec, I'll go, I'll go get you one. Thank you so much! Here you go! Wow, it really is then. Kind of springy too. You'd be, surprised, or you'd be surprised just how tough it is. You need special equipment to cut through it for processing. Anyway, I don't know what you're going to use it for, but I hope, hope it works out for you. Thank you again. Oh, I thought we get orders to give scraps off from the Mind Chief himself. I don't know what you're going to use it for, but I hope it works out for you. Alright, so next up... Okay, why don't I take the long way around and scroll through this? Uh, let's see, pocket watch... Oscillator, have to ask Gwen. Okay, so I'm going back to... Lake Lacrima. Where do you want to go? Leave it to me! Grandfather, can we ask you something? Oh, shoot. Er, shoot. They explained that they were trying to fix the pocket watch that Lisa's father made and asked about the micro oscillator. Oh, you're trying to fix that thing up, are you? That's not going to be easy. Hmm, I think I know what you're looking for, though. You do? Yep, he came to me when he was making the thing originally, you see. He wanted to know if I knew of a more stable material than what's usually needed in an oscillator. More stable material? Take your not watch of a watch expert. The more stable the material used, the more precise and accurate the oscillator. Anyway, it just so happened that I knew of just the thing. And that was... Cimmerian Orb! No, don't tell me it's actually... Perhaps the most stable material in this world. Zemurinor? He used that to make an oscillator? No one knew how to process the stuff at the time, but I'm guessing he just found a small enough piece and used it as is. So that was the secret to its accuracy. I can only imagine how much effort he must have gone through, er, uh, gone to in order to even find a grain of that stuff. Your mother just dumps it onto Jackass like she doesn't even care. Easy, Lisa. Anyway, if that's what we're looking for, we should head back to the Courageous. Maybe George will have some we can use. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. With that, they hurried back to the Courageous and went straight to speak to George. Anyway, that's why we came to you. Wow, I had no idea anyone ever made a pocket watch like that. The idea of using Zimbirian ore is an ingenious one too. I wouldn't mind learning more about it myself. Um, <laughs> so would you happen to have any high purity Zemirian ore that you can spare? Even the tiniest amount would do. Sure, that's all you need. Yeah, it won't be a problem at all. Hold on a sec if you don't mind. I want to find you a good piece. Thanks, George. Sorry for the wait. This should do the job. Purity is pretty close to 100%, so it should fit your needs perfectly. Zemirian ore grain. So this is what formed the heart of po uh, Father's Pocket Watch. Thank you so much, George. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're the ones who brought the Zemurian Orb back here in the first place. Alright, I think that's everything we need. Can we head back to Jackass's place and have him fix it up now? <laughs> She's really fired up about this. Oh, I had to go back there on my own. Using Zemurian Orb to make a watch is definitely an original idea. I wish I could come with you and uh, watch it get fixed, but I just got too much to do right now, unfortunately. I hope the repair goes well, though. Alrighty then. Where do you want to go? So, uh, okay, back to Jackasses. Full speed ahead. 
Actually, hold on. Uh, what about what does Gwen have to say now? Where do you now? want to go? Leave it to me. We were see worried about. Oh wait, no, it's just the Azure Tree stuff. Oh man. All right, all right. Where do you want to go? Leave it to me. Back to jackasses. Well, looky here. You kids got all the parts we need. You bet. Think you'll be able to fix the pocket watch now? With all these, should be able to, yeah. Well, now that I got all the parts, I figured I'll stick them all together eventually. Player. I'm just poking fun. Wouldn't want you to keep waiting all that long. You'll get started around my second drink of the night. <sighs> oh, fine, fine. Stop staring daggers. Uh, actually, if you're so bound to determine to get this thing fixed, how would you do it? What, me? Are you sure? Sure, shooting. Hell, it's only right. But if you're, uh, if you're not sure you're up to the task, I can take care of it. No, I want to. Uh, let me at least try. <laughs> wow, it really is important to her. <laughs> of course. Let me process the alley sheet for you first, though. Bet you the tools are still up in his room. Let me give it a look-see. I'm sure you'll find them. Of course. Thank you. With that, they immediately set out for the Ryford family residence to collect his tools and fix the pocket watch. So, this goes here, and that's connected to the thing here. So, how's the patient? You think you can fix it? I think Dr. Elisa can guarantee a full recovery. My father taught me everything I know about mechanical engineering. I got a pretty good idea of how he thinks, his design quirks, and all the weird stuff that it, that makes an engineer. <laughs> that makes sense. I presume that's what Jackass was referring to when- <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Every time I just read everyone just casually naming Jackass. I uh, was referring to when he said that it was only right that you do it yourself. Yeah, Grandfather taught me a lot of things, but my engineering know-how is all for my father. You could say that I wasn't just his number one daughter, but his number one student too. And from what I've heard, Jackass taught him almost everything he knew. You did always seem surprisingly tech-savvy, right for name or no. But it all makes sense now. Yeah, there aren't many students who could just fix a watch like that. He must be pretty into this stuff. I'm not... Oh, got it. Is it fixed now? I think so. I just need to reassemble the frame and disable the circuit breaker, and then... That was quite impressive. You did a great job. I couldn't have done it without it or without you guys. Thanks so much for helping me with this. <laughs> it's nothing to get uh it's nothing to get all teary eyed about. Huh? Sounds like a music box? I thought it was just a regular pocket watch. Oh, but we needed that special ally sheet to make it so uh to enable it to make the sound. Can't believe he managed to make something this complex by hand. He's made some pretty amazing stuff, but this What? A, a photograph? Ah, a wedding photo, it seems. Irina brought it over to me when uh, Ryford's lads were up to er, weren't up to the task of fix, fixing the thing, so she came to me as a last resort. Said if I couldn't if I couldn't fix it, it wasn't a big deal though. Oh. Mother! At least knock before you come in. What would you have done if I had a guest in here? I know all about what happened with Father's pocket watch. How can you be so indifferent to it? I saw no reason to keep it around if it isn't or if it no longer functioned. That's all there is to it. Is that all you wanted to ask? Bro. I suppose you're right, in a way. When you're running a company this big, you need to prioritize efficiency above all else. Sometimes that might mean cutting things out of your life that are important for or important to you for the sake of the big picture. I can see that. Whether that's the right attitude to take, I don't know. And that's not for me to decide anyway. But 
Know that if you can't take care of the things that matter to you and you feel the need to toss them aside, then I'll be there to pick those things up and look after them in your place. I see. Your naivety doesn't appear to have faded any since uh, we last spoke, but I can't say that comes as any surprise. I'll give you credit for showing your beliefs with actions over simple words, Elisa. Mother, I don't... Dalton, get the car ready to depart. I'll be leaving in two minutes. As you wish, Madam Chairman. I had no intention of keeping it around as long as it was broken, but if you fixed it, I may as well take it off your hands. Here's your reward. You deserve one for the effort you put into this. Seraph. But mother! Wait a minute, I haven't finished- Oh, I'll be- and I'll be expecting you to have some more concrete ideas by our next meeting. You're the one who uh, chose to make such a bold proclamation. You must always take responsibility for your words. I would imagine Irina's like smiling fondly with no one looking. <laughs> Opening up the pocket watch like that. Or at least that's what I would hope. But oh my gosh, she's so like cold-blooded when it comes to running her company overall I was like like a pocket watch from my like uh late husband ah chuck it into the garbage or I don't have time for that shit I'm like bro come on <laughs> that's your mother in a nutshell uh, why must she always be like this Oh, 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 oh! Oh. I see she didn't notice what happens when you set it to go the other way around. Oh! Oh, is it a picture of, like, Elisa then? Oh! Our precious treasure. Oh, oh my God! Even when I expect the scene to go one way, they find they find a small way to one up it. I didn't expect the second picture in this pocket watch. Oh, bro! Everything he gave me uh, had to have some unusual trick to it. Well, she's still got a long way to go if she wants to be my successor. But I suppose spending a moment like this now and again isn't so bad. Bro, bro, oh my god, I didn't, I didn't expect them to actually one-up the- I didn't expect the second photo! Oh. good shit. Yeah, and there's no new dialogue here, right? Yeah. All right, then. Okay, so let's see. What's our stuff here? Okay, so we just got to report in. She seems as uninterested as ever. A few words of faint praise. At least, <laughs> at least that's something. Uh, okay. And so we also got Rosine. Yep. All right. So we got everything done here, as far as I can imagine. So let's, Where do, you want to let's go? do a quick sweep. So Lake Lacrima, done. Ancient Quarry, done. Settlement, done. Watchtower, done. Zendergate, done. Sucks in our mind, done. Nothing in Isengard range. Ymir, done. Uh. Spina by road, nothing there. Ruer, done. Nortia Highway and the Schwarz Drush Barrier, done. The farmhouse by Lunari Nature Park, done. Keldic, all done. East er West Keldic Highway and East Trista Highway up to the point where uh the blockade or bear uh, yeah the blockade was at, done. East Keldic Highway, Twin Dragons Bridge, done, done. 
Proving Ground, Dun, Gorelia Fortress. I thought there would be an active voice looking at the Azure Tree over in Crossbell. Apparently there was none. Orcs Fort, Dun. Rayahar, Dun. Nothing between... Nothing in the North Crescent Highway. Legram, Dun. Uh... Let's see, Ebo Highway, nothing new. Unless a new cryptic comes up, but I'm pretty sure... Like, I've already been told that. You know, we're done with all the cryptids, so no need to worry about backtracking back and forth out of paranoia. So, okay. All I've left to do, report back in, talk to the new students that are here, and we're done. Hey there, Reen. Alright, let me hear your report. Sweet. Well, well, that's very impressive. Almost there to rank A1. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to your next report. <sighs> All right, let's see who who's new around here. So no one new in the in the bridge. Uh, does Princess Alphen have anything? Let's see. Nah. Okay, nothing new. Although I guess like the last medal would involve uh, the final bond scene. So there's that. Hey, look at the three of them. Huh, there's nothing we can't do if we got our friends working with us. So I hope you're ready for, uh, wait, ready for our training to beat the hell out of you, Reen. But Reen can't participate in this one. He's not ranged. But we wouldn't do it. Uh, we wouldn't do it if you uh, couldn't overcome. But he, he, he literally can't overcome this training. It's ranged. He's melee. And then you just got like, and then like the only way to get through this, you just had to keep using Arc Slash because it's like the only actual ranged thing that Reen has in his arsenal. <laughs> now that Teresi is here, the training is going to be harder than you ever imagined. Hope you're ready, Reen, because it's going to get real intense. I was expecting a level four. Emily and I have been tweaking the settings of the combat shells together. Thanks to that, you're going to have a. Uh, you're gonna have to, or you're gonna have a few new training exercises on offer. Do come and try them if you get the chance. They won't be easy, but I'm sure they'll benefit you in the long run. We'll have to give them a shot. I'll let it be so now, but you know too. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, when you want to try your hand at some high-level training, just come and let me know. Oh. Okay, we'll do we'll do this later. I'm so happy uh, that Emily and I are back together again. Now that I'm here, I should be more than, uh, I should be able to make, uh, make myself useful. That's more than I can say for my uh, time with Berea Hard. <laughs> it's wonderful to see Elisa again, too. Okay, I better hope that they have even more enemies to make you material farming even faster. I better see, like, seven enemies this time. Emily's more excited, uh, or more excited than ever now that Teresa's with us too. Now all we need to do is find Ferris. That's probably easier said than done, though, especially if she's still at the academy. Where are you, Ferris? Knowing her, she's probably fine. She has to be. Ah, oh. ah, oh. I, I did it. That's the way. Nice work. Now that you worked out some of that rust. You're for a quick sparring session with a combat shell. You bet. Now that I've been reunited with Bridget, I got no time to waste. I gotta get as strong as I can so I can keep her out of harm's way. Hey, that's the spirit. I swear, as soon as he was reunited with his gal pal, his skill level shot, shot right up. Who would have thought that puppy love was a secret sauce? <laughs> oh my god, did you have to say it like that? I honestly feel like uh, all the training I've been putting through was a big waste of time. Still, we got something that works, bro. That's all that matters. People don't get stronger if they don't have something worth fighting for. Family, country, girls, whatever drives you. I'm doubly happy we got to put on that concert. It was great for the people of Kellogg to, uh, wait, people of Kellogg for one. But on a more personal level, I gotta go, or I got to make up for missing the summer concert. <laughs> Sounds like this made me glad I picked up the violin in the first place. Alright, sweet. Next floor. Anyone out on the front deck by any chance? Ah, Rex. 
I had a feeling this ship was gonna be cool, but damn! It's got more babes on board than it. The name ship's got it right to, too. And they're all doing stuff they wouldn't do at the academy, so it's a blend of, a uh, perfect blend of old and new. Boy, you're gonna get your ass slapped by everyone uh, if you don't, <laughs> if you don't stop taking photos of the girls. I had no idea Fidelia was here before you brought him here to me, though, or here either. Now I wish I'd taken you up on your offer suit or offer earlier. I don't know if I got enough uh, photo course for all the pics I want to take. The Asha Tree, uh, Asha Tree scary. Found winds. Nah, okay. That's the same thing with the both of them here. Oh yeah, Monk. How's that status update? Tear ball. Ugh. Okay, let's not... Okay, feeling lucky. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got the rest of the shops here. Let's see, uh, back on a minute. Sphere shrines. Okay, now that's the same thing. Shrines right. Okay, same deal. Wait, uh, was there anything? Oops. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, never good. Okay, what about this thing with Colette here? I'll be selling stuff I picked up on Artisan Street from here on out. I'd rather be uh, on the buy side of things than the sell side, but what can you do? Some of my stuff's pretty rare too, so you, so you might want to take a look. Oh? Wait. Oh! Pastel blue coloring, yo. Evil Mishy Plushy. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, you can buy the Dark Emblems from here. Ooh. And also, honestly, this is like the most cost-efficient thing if you want to upgrade to like your, like, Deep Oshers, Still Blues, Pendulums, or, uh, sorry, not Pendulums, uh, uh, Passionate Rouges and everything. Like, you just buy this. Like, look, it's 9k for all of these ones that upgrade into Evergreen and so on. But if you go over here... At the cost of not wanting to farm new materials, they cost 50k or 75k a pop! Like, holy crap! That's like more than... That's almost six times the price for not wanting to farm new materials when you can one-shot them at this point. Or the combat shells. Like, the price difference is crazy! But yeah, now we can trade in for the evil, uh, not evil, uh, let me see here. Uh, cheers for everything, or er, cheers for everything, you lot. This will not change it, uh, wait, will not change what happened to Celtic, but Otto should be able to rest in peace now. Now we just need to focus on doing what, uh, uh, doing everything we can from here on out too. Right, that's enough sentimentality for a lifetime. Becky's back in action starting now. Uh, no time to be sentimental when we still got stuff to do. Get ready, troops, because Becky's back in action. Golden Mishy. Do I even really want to equip this? I mean, if it had 20 speed as well, you bet your damn ass I'm actually going to equip that. But, man, we couldn't go for the, the full-on 20 to all stats, huh? Man, that would have been perfect. We got 38 U materials to uh, make use of here. Hmm. Oh yeah, wait, we got Seraph. Seraph should be... Okay, wait, wait. If what we have is like... Okay, well, what does Seraph do if I had to... Oh, whatever. Uh, so Shining and Seraphic Ring with... Oh, that's what it did. Okay, I... Okay, I so... Okay, Seraphic Ring would, would be obvious, but I forgot about the Shining and the fact that it raises Arch Strength and EP. Uh Although Seraphic Ring was like, what, what was it again? Oh yeah, yeah that, that was the full revive and regen and stuff like that. Uh, let's see if we're... Oh, no, it's the same thing? Okay. No superb dishes. Wait, no superb dishes? 
Didn't I make the, uh... Oh, I guess I already delivered the exciting grill. Huh. It's a great emergency spell. Oh yeah, you should always have, like, maybe two people with it, just in case. Uh, Oryx Fort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Anyone on the rear deck in terms of... No, I don't think any random NPC would be... Yeah, only on the front one being Rex. Okay. So I'm guessing Rosine would definitely be in the infirmary, knowing her things with medicine and all. Yep. Thank you all very much for helping me with my idea back in Celtic. I'll never forget your kindness. Seriously, think nothing of it. We're grateful that you came up with something we could do to help. Speaking of, does this mean you'll be looking at the, after the infirmary here for now? That's the plan, yes. Given how much I learned about medicine while I was in Caldec, it only makes sense. So if any of you ever need, er, if any of you ever need medical treatment, you should be in good hands, I hope. I'll make sure to have a lot of pot of medicine ready for you. Thanks. It's great to see you smile again. I plan on making use of the medicine making skills I pick up, picked up in Caldec here. So if any of you ever need medical treatment, I'll be happy to attend to you. If nothing else, you, you can be sure I'll have plenty of strong medicine on hand. How strong are we talking about? Oh! Oh! Bro! 30 CP and 50% strength defense or arch strength and arch defense on demand? Oh, hell yeah! I'll take... Oh, no, it's so expensive though. Okay, I'll just take one of each. Because the rest of the Miras gotta go into buying everyone's wealth and upgrades. But yeah, oh wow, okay. Anything, Milliam? Free thing? Nah, okay. Uh. <sighs> it does good to have Rex on the Courageous with us. You can tell him just words for children too. Yeah, about that. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Anything about Nosferatu? Nah. You're not interested in that? Um, we got a lot of activity in here, so let's see. Green, could I possibly ask you for a favor? N uh, nope, no asking allowed. Nah, I'm kidding, of course you can. Uh, thank you, it's about Alan, actually. Uh, as I'm sure you know, he's done a lot for me since he first started dating. I want to show him just how much I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Got anything in mind? Well, yes, I'm thinking of cooking for him. All the... Son of a bitch. This is all the unique dishes, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> All the housework I did, uh, I did in Berehard helped boost my confidence in the kitchen. But like the surprise him with a really special homemade meal. I have a feeling he'd like that. I can see him jumping for joy already. The only issue being I have absolutely no idea what I should make for him. That's where you come in. Could you bring me some dishes that uh, you considered unique that I can sample? You wouldn't have to do this right away, of course, just whenever you're free. I mean, if that's all you need, then sure. If I see or taste anything particularly unique, <clears throat> I'll bring it straight to you. Thank you. It's been, it's a big help. Okay, time out. I'll have one of everything. One, one. Coffee jelly, I need, uh... I need Machias for... Oh, fuck me. Hold on. Well, let's switch in Machias for this. Sure, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yep, okay, we got basically everything else right now. So now we just need to dump everything onto Bridget.
Uh, reviving Balm. Uh, she's so she's gonna keep offering like reviving and then celestial. Okay, so this one should be the next reward. Oh no, design a cappuccino. Yeah, Celestial Balm. Hey, Celestial Balm EX. things about all the developments here over in Eastern Erebonia is that there aren't many Jaegers operating inside the country anymore. Oh wait, uh, no, 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 I already read that, I already read that. There's a tree, yeah, yeah, Yo, Kenneth, how you doing? Uh, well, nothing I actually want to trade in for until we upgrade to another rank again. Hmm. You know, I'm still curious about the badges. It still says part of a set, even when you trade in for the Arc Tyrant badge. So it's like, do you need all four badges? And then what do you trade those in for? Are we gonna have a repeat of last game with the Zemurian Orshard trade? Because if so, I'm not looking forward to getting another Gladiator badge when I have to cost 300, man. Keep your strength up. No, I will not want to eat margarita's cookies. Oh man, if only we can buy uh, white beast flesh or trade it in for something. Ugh. Obviously, we don't need to do anything else for barrel. Uh, nope. Okay. Oh yeah. New data. Common data is really coming along now. Hey, nine new material. All right, now for factory four one. We already talked to George before, so no need. Uh, Clara, I don't think you have anything new. So it's almost complete. The piece is almost complete. We still haven't found uh, uh, what's his name again? Uh, what was, wait, what was that one guy's name again who rode Whitcomb? Uh, oh god, I forgot his name already. Oh, oh my god. His name escapes me. Okay, let's see. Light blue over bike calling for massive, for mass market taste. Uh, eh, I, oh my god, it even has a heart on it too. Eh, I'm not a fan of the, uh, what was that, plaid? It, or uh, whatever that pattern was called? Not a fan of that, actually. Or at least on the oval bike. Okay, what about the rest of this design? Uh, no excess of stuff, but eh. Wait, what is this? Okay, I thought this said Mickey, although you could construe that pronunciation as Mickey, but Mikey? Mikay? <laughs> oh no. Was that always there on it? Uh, was it, wait, was that always there? Hold on. No, Ryanford. Oh, it's like a different... Time out, let me see. Oh yeah, same company. So what about the dark coloring? So what's on the bumper sticker here? Or nothing. Actually, what this? Is there like Zephyr on the back here? Oh, what? So there's Ryford with Elisa here, but there's no Zephyr here. Or Toa. Ah, uh, ah, the blue ribbon. Her signature thing. Okay. 
Back to the uh, Elisa coloring. Alright then. So that should about wrap up all the new dialogue. We wrapped up all the side quests here. Uh, let's see. We picked up all of our current classmates. The trial chest, we're all done for now. So I'm guessing all these missing trial chests here are for the remaining spirit strands we have yet to go through. Yep, looks like it. Alright. So, actually, let me just go do this ahead of time. Where do you want to go? Go back to Ymir. Leave it to me! And a quick rest at the Phoenix Wings. Holy crap, it's past 3 o'clock right now. In the morning. I just noticed. <laughs> oh, I did want to get through all this in one go, so here we are. Alrighty, back to the Courageous. Alright, and we still have to read the new chapter of... Oh, whoops. Of Gambler Jack, uh, chapter 13, now that we picked it up earlier. But I'll go read that at the start of the next session. So, okay. For sure. It took me damn near... No. Just about seven hours to do all this shit. Oh, boy. My, my vocal cords are shot right now. It took a lot of water. Went through all the optional stuff except for Gamma Jack. Yep. Because, like, I didn't want to, like... Uh, at least for the sake of the VOD. Uh, I didn't want to read it in the middle of literally everything I did here. So for the next session, you can bet your ass you can just find... Like, at the very beginning, Gambler Jack right then and there. Without having to, like, search through it all. Like, assuming anyone was curious. I was like, okay. It's like the, He read Gambler Jack at some point. But at which point between when he last read the last chapter... And uh, at this current point, wherever it was, I'm like, no, nah, that's gonna be annoying as hell. Cause, like, depending on certain parts, I mean, I haven't been doing the most consistent job time stamping a lot of my mods. Not that uh, with how I split up some of them would warrant time stamping, at least on the YouTube end of things. But I, I did for some parts, but a lot of the times it gets really tiring. <laughs> Like, I even gave it, like, an attempt to timestamp all of the Trails to Azure stuff. But then I'm like, ugh, I, <laughs> I can't, I can't keep up with that shit. Uh, I'm sorry, I tried. I mean, I'm happy that I tried for, like, far away, but I'm like, oh god, it's, it's just so much work looking through to properly timestamp stuff. So you know when I'm done freaking talking about, like, NPC stuff and carrying on, because I'm sure... Many people would appreciate that, I, I guarantee you that, but oh boy. <laughs> uh, it feels like something you want to pay, some, pay someone to do it for you. <laughs> okay, either way though, only thing left, Gambler Jack, and choosing the next spirit shrine to go to. So, okay. So, I need to go rest my voice, so that'll do it for Trails tonight.